Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we're going to see how we go about creating a passwordless SSH entry for a user from one system to another and uh, the system I have here is a Red Hat Linux 6 machine. So I got two servers, Red Hat V6-4-Mac1 hyphen and the other one is Mac2. So both of these are Red Hat Linux machines and uh, I have with me here, uh, I've created a user. Let me just grab it. Ripple that is existent into both servers, Mac 1 as well as Mac 2. And uh, we will be setting up an SSH, uh, passwordless SSH entry for Ripple user from Mac 1 machine to Mac 2 machine. So let's go about doing it. Let's issue to the username and here uh, we're going to do uh, first thing that needs to be done is to generate the SSH keys that you will be placing in the other server so that when you initiate an SSH session from Mac 1 machine and uh, the SSH request goes off to the Mac 2 machine, Mac 2 can respond to the Mac 1 with the SSH keys. It figures it out that the SSH keys are already present and it doesn't uh, prompts the user to authenticate for a password. It, it it takes the password from those SSH keys. So the command we will be using is SSH hyphen uh, keygen hyphen t RSA. Now there are two encryption algorithms RSA and DSA, and you can use either of them. So let's see, and it will ge be generating a file if you see here in dot ssh folder in the ripple's home directory and uh, the file is going to be id underscore rsa so just press enter keep the passphrase uh, passphrase blank keep it enter and if you see we got an ssh directory created let's cd to it and the, here are two keys id underscore rsa that's the private key and id underscore rsa dot pub that's the public key so Let's, uh, we need to place this uh, RSA ID dot RSA dot pub to the, uh, in the home directory of Ripple on the other server. So let's go about doing it. Say SCP, this ID underscore pub and uh, to the other server, Ripple at MacQ. Colon, and we're going to place it in Ripple's home directory. So let's do this. It's going to prompt us for the password for now. That's for sure. And it's done. So let's traverse to the other server we have. And let issue to Ripple here as well. And ls hyphen la. And the public key file, the id underscore rsa dot pub that's been uh, uh, transferred to this server. We did it, right? So now the next thing that needs to be done is to create a .ssh directory, mkdir.ssh. And let's move this file to, now uh, for this user, like uh, in, in the .ssh directories, we need to create a file with the name authorized underscore keys. So let's do that, authorized underscore keys. And do a sender's hyphen L. Now, uh, the thing is that uh, this file, we will be placing these public keys in this file. And for a user, suppose, say, uh, to this specific server, uh, Mac2, if a user is set, has set up a SSH, uh, a passwordless SSH connection from lot many servers there in the network. So this file will be containing the the uh, public dot, uh, this uh, id underscore rsa dot pub keys from all those servers. So we need to place our files here. So uh, let's uh, do that because, you know, the contents of this files are sensitive. Even a space or a blank, if accidentally put in, can uh, cause it not to work. So let's uh, dot dot and la, ls hyphen la. And we're going to cap the contents of this and redirect it to .ssh slash 
authorized underscore keys and uh, let's see it to dot ssh again and get the contents of this file and hyphen bet we will be using so that just to encounter this should not be any space at the end so looks good and now uh, this is done the other thing that needs to be checked is the permissions so let's do that for this dot ssh directory the permission should be uh 700 and when we cd to dot ssh the permission for the hmod should be 600 600 and let's put a star for all of them la and uh, that's done so um let's try to ssh from the other terminal to this so ripple ssh since we are using the id ripple and you see this has been done perfectly so i am in the mac2 machine you name hyphen a and let's exit and that's done easy i hope this has been informative for you and thank you so much for watching uh, i request you to subscribe to my channel for uh, more technical updates and videos which i keep on posting i hope you enjoyed have a nice day